my journey being in a wheelchair, I being disabled, being a paraplegic has its share of ups and downs. You know, I guess being disabled like tests you mentally. Um, and I don't think these are the things that people always talk about. How specifically being black, female, and in a wheelchair actually shapes the world around you. I'm not trying to ostracize anybody. I'm just trying to speak my truth. Racism is so prevalent because it's easy to okay. do. Racism wouldn't be as spread around if it was hard to do. It is very easy to categorize people not only by how they look, but by color. Having a physical disability, at least, is a very easy thing to judge. The world is majority of people who can stand or who are able-bodied. So the disability is the first thing that sets me apart. Think about it like filters. It's the first thing that sets me apart. Then it's being black that sets me apart. And then it's a being a woman that sets me apart. I mean, I know like when I was younger, my mom fought a lot for my rights, and so did my my family too, like my cousins especially. I had to work twice, three times as hard to get respect because I'm black. I think that's because I'm a woman. I think that's because I'm disabled. I think all of that is that much even more reason where it's like she's definitely not settling. Maybe if she was like different, she could settle a little bit. But like no. We already had so much to stomach things against you. We're, you're definitely not settling. But because I know that I'm put at a different advantage, I constantly have to be like, motivate myself. That way I'm not only as successful as the people around me, but even more. When people do their jobs, it's smooth. And when people don't do their jobs, it's not smooth. And dealing with incompetence is always so frustrating. And it's even exacerbated by your disability and your situation. My whole life has just been this very tough ba battle between body and mind and trying to accept that. Like I said, kind of growing up, I always wanted to do more than I felt like my body could. And that was really frustrating. And I, a lot of times that's what puts me down is because I want to be able to like stand up and dance with my boyfriend and I want to be able to swim and not wear a life vest and I want to be able to run across the beach like in Baywatch and like these things that I never was able to do because I was born with my disability because uh, I'm like a paraplegic and I guess it happened around birth or whatever I never had the opportunity to experience life any other way it changed my outlook on life, which is great, but I do feel like I'm missing out on a lot of things. And um, what my heart and soul wants to do is way more adventurous than I feel like the limits that my body puts me up against. So it, I end up kind of, I guess, really being down on myself. As much as I ever have just complained about it, I would not have it any other way. Yes, I would like to walk, I'm not gonna lie. However, I'm glad I was given the things I was given. My mom um, had this poem for me and my two middle brothers. She said that a lot when I was growing up. Um, that like, sun rose when you were born or something like that. So I think that also gave me somewhat more purpose kind of like the day it's like I, I think I literally like rise and set with the day it's it kind of like when the sun goes up I come up when the sun goes down I go down and it kind of just keeps going anything that's outside of the house whether that's like climbing a tree or like going to the mall I can't really do that now but going to the store that's an adventure and that's like okay I get to forget about my disability, I can focus on adventure, I can just seek something out, and that gives me energy and joy. I feel like being disabled has test, is the biggest test of my mental capacity. No, like I said, I wouldn't really change it, even if I could. I'm glad I'm given the cards that I was given.